This is the best spinach artichoke dip I have ever had, ever. And I made it myself. So good. Okay, these are all the exact ingredients I'm going to be using. I've got a can of artichoke hearts, mozzarella and Parmesan cheese, you're gonna need some chopped frozen spinach, cream cheese, sour cream, minced garlic. You can use fresh if you want, but I didn't have any fresh. Black pepper and mayonnaise. A lot of the stuff you might already have on hand. Okay, your spinach needs to be thawed and drained. This is how I do it. I put the whole frozen block in the strainer and then I pour, um, like I spray hot water on it using this for just like two minutes, two minutes tops. And then it's all, it's all good and defrosted and thawed out. And then I spray some cold water on it. And then what you're gonna wanna do is squeeze out all of the juice before you put it in your dip. Okay, now let's drain and chop up our artichoke hearts. All right, so I've got my artichokes all chopped up real fine into little pieces. I've got my spinach here, it draining on a paper towel. All right, now let's get started on the dip. First, I'm gonna start with a softened block of cream cheese. So you wanna start with a completely softened block of cream cheese. I messed up and just took this out maybe 20 minutes ago. So it's still a little firm, but it'll be okay. Now I'm gonna add in all of our artichokes. The spinach, which is completely drained and thawed and dry. So we've got, oh no. Okay, now you need about a half a cup of mayonnaise and sour cream. That's about good. I'm just eyeballing half a cup of sour cream. Okay, now let's add half a cup of mozzarella and half a cup of uh, Parmesan cheese. I'm adding a little bit of this minced garlic. A little bit meaning like a tablespoon or so. Actually, I'm gonna do a little more because garlic is yummy. And just some freshly ground black pepper. Um, you can add some more salt if you like, but I feel the cheese and the vegetables and everything has enough salt on its own. So I'm not adding any more. I don't want it to be too salty. Okay, and here's what it looks like all mixed up. It looks absolutely perfect and smells absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Let's put it in a baking dish and bake it up. I'm gonna put it in this little cute baking dish I have here. 
First, I'm gonna spray it with some non-stick spray. All right, so now I'm going to top it with just a little more cheese. If it, this is a mozzarella and provolone, or not provolone, Parmesan, mozzarella and Parmesan mix. I mix them together. So we'll just put it on like that and we're gonna pop it in the oven just like this on 350 degrees for about 25 minutes, okay? Okay, I just took it out of the oven. Look how freaking delicious it looks. I cannot wait to try it, but I have to because I will burn my mouth. Okay, so I'm about to try it. It smells so good. And I've got my, I've got some chips here and just a little scoop of it because it's still really hot. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is the best spinach artichoke dip I have ever had, ever. And I made it myself. So good. Get a big old scoop with a tortilla chip or a pita chip or a cracker. Mmm, it's so good.